What's up guys, welcome back to a new Record of Ragnarok video. Today I'm going over our boy Raiden, covering how strong he is alongside all the important information we got about him during his fight. As we know, he was the representative of humanity in the fifth round of Ragnarok, facing Shiva from the gods. And unlike most of the fights prior, the human fighter was dominating for the large majority, but sadly in the end, Raiden was defeated pretty high difficulty. During his introduction, the following was stated about Raiden. This is where his History's strongest man is found. This could imply Raiden is the strongest human so far. However, similar lines are used to describe Yubu from the first round and Adam from the second round, so it doesn't really demonstrate or prove anything. You can just say Raiden was the strongest at his specific time, and Lubu was the strongest at his specific time when he was alive. That's my view of it at least. Raiden's strength is hyped up even more, with them saying that even while being restricted his whole life, he still remained the strongest around. Right as the fight begins, Raiden was able to speed blitz and drop kick Shiva, then force Shiva on his knees with a punch to the head, showing his overwhelming strength compared to Shiva at this point. Thanks to his Valkyrie FUD, he's able to damage Shiva with any attack, as FUD's uh, volume was pretty much his whole muscle so anything he can use physical wise against Shiva will damage him and it also allows him to unleash his full overwhelming power or his overwhelming godly muscles. We then have Brynhilda saying the following about Raiden which is very interesting in my opinion. This is the strongest fighter in history's true power. So does this mean Raiden is actually the strongest? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Be a mad lad by subscribing and joining the superior side, helping me reach my 2021 goal of 100k subscribers. I also have a Patreon for people who want various benefits while supporting the channel directly, alongside the Discord server and my Twitter that's all linked in the description. Now enjoy the video. Even when Shiva blocked with two arms, he is sent back by Raiden's raw power. Then with Raiden's first named attack, he rolls Shiva, forcing him face first on the ground, doing some pretty decent damage to him. Raiden intended to end the fight here with another named attack, which was a headbutt. However, Shiva was able to counter first with his own headbutt, so Raiden could have won very early in the fight with this. Also throughout the fight, Raiden demonstrated the ability to tank many attacks from base form Shiva, with Shiva being described as the strongest Indian god prior. So his tankiness before later on in the fight is already pretty high in the early parts. Raiden Raiden then generated enough power to grab onto one of Shiva's arms and fully crush it, which left the likes of Ares and Hermes completely shocked. We learned that Raiden was able to do this by forcing his strength into both his arms and crushing, showing he can manipulate all his strength into a specific part of his body. After this, Shiva amped his base form power to the max after losing one arm and getting support from all the other Indian gods. Now for a big chunk of the fight, Raiden and Shiva are pretty much equal dealing similar amounts of damage to one another. Once Shiva pulled out his dancing fighting style, Raiden was getting fully overwhelmed. However, he was still tanking an insane amount of kicks and was still in the fight. This forced Raiden to use his muscles to form a shield-like thing with his arms, being able to tank more of Shiva's attacks with it kind of resembling a riot shield and demonstrated how he's able to use his muscles in various other ways. However, Shiva started going so fast that his attacks turned into flames, which resulted in Raiden not being able to block out the damage on Shiva's attacks as he's pretty much getting burnt by Shiva now. This fight with Shiva allowed Raiden to go all out for the first time in his life and that's why he smiles about this fight even though he's getting burned and absolutely dominated at this point. To counter Shiva, Raiden uses his most powerful technique that Shiva tried to block and failed with it destroying two of his arms and even doing more damage to the rest of his body. As expected, this attack left Ares speechless as always. And we even had Zeus saying the following, if Shiva hadn't put up his guard, it would have smashed his heads into bits for sure. So Shiva had to sacrifice two of his arms to survive that overwhelming crazy attack from Raiden, showing Raiden's raw power being absolutely off the charts, being able to almost one-shot a god with one ability, which is insane. Which makes you think, if Shiva didn't amp his power up to max a little bit earlier before this attack came out, 
Shiva may have actually died at the start of the fight if Raiden used this as his first attack. So Raiden, even though he lost the fight in the end, is an absolute beast and has one of the strongest single abilities in the series so far. Zeus also states that this ultimate attack from Raiden was so strong that it even held back sound. So honestly I don't even know what that means but it's pretty badass. However, this attack is a double edged sword. For Raiden to move his muscles at that insane speed with such power, it puts a lot of strain on his body, resulting in his body to break down and for him to get something like recoil from the attack. So in short, his body can't handle him using this attack, even with the help of the Valkyrie, which is a pretty common theme amongst the humans with OP abilities. For example, Adam losing against Zeus due to his body or his eyes not being able to handle his, you know, Eyes of the Lord ability. Similar thing with Raiden here. He has the potential to use this OP attack, but his body can't handle the recoil after using it, resulting in him getting nowhere near the same amount of damage Shiva got, but still being but severely injured after unleashing it. Now for Shiva to stay in the fight after taking that attack, he decides to transform into his ultimate form. Even when Shiva was in his fire form, Raiden didn't back down and would block and strike regardless of the damage done to him. Remember at this point, each attack Shiva lands on Raiden has the power of Shiva and also has like a burning effect or burns Raiden. And now in this form, when Raiden attacks back, he also gets burnt. So he's getting a lot more damage done to him than what Shiva is getting done from Raiden's normal basic attack. This resulted in the final parts of the fight to be a war of attrition, as Shiva in this form also burns himself away. So it's a matter of time which one would win. However, as Raiden went for his ultimate attack to win the fight, the same attack that almost one-shot Shiva prior, he failed as Shiva countered it and pretty much split his arm open, which also left Raiden useless with no more power left as he put all his remaining power into that final attack, which resulted on Shiva getting the win. You could say if Shiva didn't counter that final attack, Raiden would have won, but still, Raiden may have been killed as well due to the recoil and all the other damage he gained. As we already saw prior how much recoil is done to Raiden after using it once, if he would use it again with already the crazy amount of damage he received, he may have actually died as well and this fight could have been a draw. But if I'm being honest, if Raiden was able to land that attack, I think Shiva will be dead and Raiden would have got the victory, but sadly he didn't and Shiva won super high difficulty. All around, Raiden has insane power, decent speed being able to blitz Shiva at multiple points, crazy durability potential with his muscles and a pretty strong will to keep on fighting. One major thing Raiden is lacking is some type of super hacks, which limits him from being one of the strongest characters in the series so far. Regardless, he's an absolute beast and I would put him around Hercules tier. If you didn't know, I have a what if battle of Hercules vs Raiden if you want to check that out now. But that's pretty much everything for today's video. Before I go, thanks to the people who support via the Patreon, Absolute Mad Lads. If you want to take part in fortnightly Q&As and gain other benefits, check out the Patreon in the description. But yep, that's it guys. Peace.